Our countdown of the natural world's craziest collectors continues in a very unusual nest. Most people think birds lay their eggs high above the ground in a nest lined with soft feathers and moss. However, our next contender is no ordinary bird. Just ask biologists Jack Barkley and Lindsay Harmon. They're in San Jose, California, searching for a bird that builds a very unusual nest underground. Hiding at number eight in the countdown is the burrowing owl because it lines its underground nest with a collection of very strange objects. Well, we have a burrowing owl burrow here, and we find around it uh, molted feathers. The burrowing owls are molting this time of year. We also have a scattering of little bits of trash. They bring in all kinds of pieces of paper and foam rubber and other kinds of little bits of urban debris. Nobody's quite sure just why the burrowing owl is a garbage collector. But recently, scientists unraveled a smelly secret hidden inside the bird's nest. Off you go. The burrowing owl has a fondness for dung. It collects mammal manure, be it pieces of cow pat or dollops of bison dung. It's the male's job to bring home the feces, which the female shreds and plasters onto the tunnel walls and around the entrance to their burrow. It sounds disgusting, but it's the perfect lure for the owl's favorite insect meal, the dung beetle. These insects are always searching for feces because they use it as a source of food and a place to lay their eggs. So the owls go fishing using a dung lure. All they have to do is sit at the entrance to their burrow and wait for a dung beetle to come sniffing around. Then the owls just reel in a meal. Collecting mammal excrement really pays off for the burrowing owl and for one entrepreneurial biologist. The forests of New Hampshire are home to many big mammals, but seeing them can be difficult. Field biologist Chris Louie knows that often the best way to tell where an animal has been is to examine what it leaves behind. I've taught a number of college-level courses on watching mammals and identifying their, their sign. It's helpful to carry somewhat of a bag of tricks. So uh, often I'll keep a collection of droppings in my pocket, bring them out and at an appropriate time, show folks um, this is a moose, this is a deer, other herbivores that we, that we have in the forest. I came home after a, a class and emptied my pockets out on the kitchen table. Then I noticed the two of them were kind of lined up and they looked like a matching set. And that's how Chris was inspired to turn excrement into earrings. In winter, moose droppings contain a lot of wood fibers which make them dense and firm. All you need to do is dry them out, apply some urethane, and you have truly unique jewelry. However, Chris's collection of excremental earrings would be of no interest to a burrowing owl. They need their dung collection nice and smelly to attract beetles for dinner. But if you think these birds are disgusting, there are equally revolting collections coming up in the countdown.
number seven. Our countdown of the natural world's craziest collectors continues in Australia as we go in search of a horrifying horde. Residents in the suburbs of Sydney are neighbors with some of the world's most poisonous spiders. Luckily, most are harmless to humans because their fangs are too fragile to pierce our skin. However, there's one spider you need to approach with caution because it can drive its fangs through your fingernail. And that's why you'd have to be crazy to collect funnel web spiders or work at the Australian Reptile Park. But biologist Mary Reyna has jars full of these bad-tempered, aggressive spiders. That's because her job is to collect venom from one of Australia's most dangerous creepy crawlies. When provoked, venom drips from the funnel web's fangs. All you need is a steady hand and good nerves to draw the poison into a glass pipette. In the past 80 years, 18 people have died from funnel web bites. But now, thanks to spider milking, it's possible to harmlessly extract enough poison to create an anti-venom. Our next contender also collects spiders, or rather, kidnaps them. Buzzing in to number seven in the countdown is the mud dauber wasp. It's easy to see how it got its name. The female collects mouthfuls of mud and molds them into shape. Once dry, it forms a clay coffin and the wasp heads off in search of a body She's number seven in the countdown because she uses her venomous sting to collect spiders. After cramming the clay chamber with up to two dozen spiders, the wasp then lays a single egg inside the chamber and seals it with a clay lid. Eventually, her baby emerges and begins to feed on the kidnapped creepy crawlers. And what's truly horrifying is that the mud dauber's collection of spiders is still alive. In the time it takes her babies to develop, dead bodies would decay and rot. So the female only paralyzes her prey, leaving the larvae to feast on fresh flesh for three weeks before emerging from the chamber. The mud dauber wasp is not the only animal with a strange collection of nest chambers. But at least our next contender doesn't have to kill for its family. 